Hello boys and girls, Alex back again with another puzzle. This one is with the compliments of Steve Good. I'll post these link on the below the video. Um, he calls this the 3D dog puzzle. It's really just a retaliation to people that complained about my cat uh, my sort of like cat yin and yang puzzle. I said, oh what about the dogs? So here's one for the dog lovers. Um, hot off the press, so first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of the sawdust. What I had to do was sand it and I'll tell you why in a second. One of the things I've found is that while the MDF is 6mm thick, however, and this is where the however comes, sometimes it can vary by anything up to about 0.3 or 0.4 of a mil, which is quite significant, especially when you're looking at the precision of a laser. And let's just pop some of these pieces out now. Um, and I'll show you, well this is basically a video for the assembly of the bugger only because a lot of people complained and said they couldn't uh, read the small print of the solutions I gave out with the miniature puzzle and I thought well bugger it, why should I struggle putting a miniature together when I can just as easily put together a bigger one which is as it was initially designed it's just that I don't like well it's not like I don't like but if I gave away full size ones it would cost me a fortune in bloody MDF now the problem of, is happens is that if I made that 6mm by the time I allowed for the kerf the kerf is about 0.1 or 0.2 of a mil um, if I made that 6 mil that would be about 6.1 and then on top of that once I got rid of all this uh, charring from the laser as you can see here um, it will reduce the thickness of that consequently this thickness is going to be maybe 5.9 or 5.8 mil while the curve will be 6.1 let's just say for argument's sake so that would be a very loose fit but what I've tried to do is I made the curve 5.8 mil so when I've sanded everything down hopefully and that's the intention these fit together snugly and it does as you can see um, without having to force it and it doesn't fall apart when I let leave it alone so let's assemble it one other thing I would mention these little pieces here there's three of them you only need one however on the small 3mm um, puzzle they're so bloody small you drop one it's guaranteed to go somewhere where you'll never reach it so I've given you two so you can at least drop it twice drop it the third time and you're fucked and I'm sorry that's it if you can track me down I can maybe cut one and paste it to you at your own expense but there's bugger if I'm going to put a thousand of these into one, each puzzle the other thing I found with the small one was once you reduced it down to half size this piece this bit gap here becomes very narrow and is quite pliable so um, if you happen to be watching this and you've got a small one just take care if you haven't been warned that if you put too much pressure on that bottom part of the leg it'll snap and there's no spares in this one so let's see the first thing I'll do hey let's put these two aside we don't need those let's put the little tailbone in I affectionately call that the coccyx um, only because that's what a tailbone is sort of called but I don't know what you call it for a dog I'd rather not call it his bum hole 
Next comes the jaw or his beard, which slips on the front there. One. Still a tight fit. And just as a word of warning there, hang on, I'm not sure. Um, the best way to undo this, do undo this if you've got one and you're having trouble, rather than force it, grab a piece of wood. I'll only you can use the edge of the table, but put that on there and push it down. And that'll get it out for you. Same thing with most other pieces, rather than try and struggle. I have trouble because of my gummy left hand and it looks like, uh, according to the surgeon, might be permanent other than what will recover with physio. But it's they're saying it's too dangerous to operate, so yeah. And my left thumb, right thumb, I tried to cut off a while back and uh, that's got little... It's usable but no feeling, so there you are. Anyway, that's to disassemble. Um, the ears come next, in my order. I call them the ears, or you can call them whatever you fucking like. Um, that goes up there like that. Now the next thing, I, I prefer to assemble this, the front shoulder bit, make that a, uh, an assembly part. There, and the other leg. Slips in beautifully. Then comes this little unit, which will slip in. Where will it slip? Come on. Come on, baby, don't. I can see it's not fully seated. There, yeah, that is. So is that. Now, this is going to be one mother to pull apart. That's where you'll have to use probably the block to pull that apart. And, oh, I can now slip this in. Two pieces go in there. Let's hope this will go in. I hope I don't have to do any more sanding. Good stuff. This shoulder, try not to put that in before the legs because that's got to push up into there. If that's in there, you've got to get it past that bit. So this comes in next. You can slip it in through there. As you can see, it's a bloody tight fit. There you have it. Now the back legs. Oh sorry this piece goes in there and come on baby beautiful and dirty old Steve come on that's that didn't fit looks like the leg isn't down as far as it could be, this leg. As you can see there, hang on, I'll try this little thing here, see how. Because this just doesn't Ah, there you are. Oh, well, it looks like uh, that's what you might have to do, is use one of these blocks to coax the bloody thing into place, at least the first time you assemble it. Afterwards, it should be okay, hopefully. Well, we shall see. No, it's still not 100% seated. I'm not happy with that. So, let's disassemble, take the chest out, um, 
what's the best way to do this? Shit! Yeah, that's come apart. But why hasn't that? Gone all the way. This is the one that. No. You idiot, it goes down, not up. It's this one that. No. Ah! Doesn't look right. There. That's. You heard that snap then, maybe. It, well, sorry, look, I'm struggling like crazy, but. Um, I'm also struggling with a dodgy hand to try and make this bloody fit, so. Forgive me. Okay, now, maybe. This. <laughs> Sorry about the compressor. Um, okay, let's get back to it. Let's try and put this bit in and hopefully, ah, that's seated in there. Both sides properly. Hooray! Sorry about this, guys, but uh, um, as I said first time, um, if you happen to get a puzzle that's a bit tight, a little bit of sanding won't hurt you. I'm not doing it, though. Now, to put the... Bloody dirty off Steve, he actually put a dick on the dog. Good on him. Which is quite good. Um, now, the back legs. Again, assemble into pieces, but be, as I said, careful of that back part. Well, so far so good. This piece goes in there. Now, this is where, as I said, you've got to be careful. This is the one that could potentially break. So, push down that way. And push up that way. Just don't push on the leg. That's the secret. Whoop, I nearly did it. There. Let's hope that... Now it fits together, and that piece should fit right up his cloaca. Not quite, which basically means that these haven't been seated properly. Oops. No, come on, bring them out because. You know, it's a puzzle, Jesus. It's not meant to be easy. Don't give me a hard time, you guys. I'm only passing on the message of Steve Good. That, that, come on. I heard a snap and it wasn't something breaking which is good. That's gone in, that's gone in. Those two look better now, hopefully. This will slip in and if that goes right up to his bum or close enough, alright with half a mil gap and there you have it. Holy shit. Let's see, what do you see? Oh, you can actually see it. Woof, woof. And it's a great... Whoop. There. Great little dog. Play dead. Look at that. Roll over. 
Woof, woof. Hey. hey, kids can have fun with it. Well, so can adults. Have a few drinks and you'd be surprised what the dog will do for you. All right, boys and girls. Um, before I go, I'll go and get some of the smaller ones. Okay, here is the smaller ones, which is the theoretically three millimeter ones. As you can see, well, theoretically half the size, packaged like so. Um, you'll probably find this is why they complained. The instructions are not exactly the best for assembly. Not that it's super hard, but hey, um, you can get the wrong rib in the wrong place. Now, getting back to this business of uh, thickness, this one here, I can do whatever I like with this because this one's been super glued together. When I first designed this, I made this, the smaller one, 3mm, or the gap 3mm, but the actual MDF I cut it out was out of 2.9 and uh, consequently I just could not get it any piece to stick. The only way I could get it to stick was with CA and if you have a closer look when I raise that as I said out of 2.9 mil the way it sticks together you can see maybe the difference even in the height it's only marginal, but you can, you know, between the, just that point, couple of points of a mill make a lot, lot of difference. That's why this is not going to become a great production run, because there's just too much mucking about. I've got to have different sizes for different thicknesses of uh, MDF, which is something I found with this also is that I think the MDF that I cut this out of was closer to 6.1 mil compared to 5.9 and that 0.1 or so makes so much difference especially when you consider that along the curve line it's not the best uh, friction or it's a very good frictional non-slip fit Anyway, that's, uh, oh shit, I've probably carried on 30 minutes longer than I would have planned to, even if the video is only 20 minutes, but still, catch you later boys and girls, uru, and keep safe, and hope to God the time will come when I don't have to keep saying keep safe, but until then, keep safe.